Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Saw Trades, and it's been quite a while since we did a um, trading recap for the day, so I thought I'd go ahead and recap some of the trades that I took today. So, first trade for me on the day was ABVC. Um, this was a, on the one minute time frame, and this was kind of a level two trade. Um, so into the open, we kind of broke this downtrend that we had, and volume started pouring in, and we actually halted up right over here at 129s. And once we unhalted, we unhalted at about $1.36. And immediately we pushed right through VWAP and I smacked it right over here at $1.44. And the reason I did that was because on the level two on the bid side, there was, I believe it was 600,000 shares or so um, on the bid. And this, you know, candle alone has 1 million in volume. So there was a lot of buyers right there after the unhalt. And I was like, okay, there's a high probability that we'll probably just go up and halt again. So I get in 144s and right away we push up in a 150s and we halt right over here. Now, my main target for this trade is always is going to be pre-market highs. That's something I always talk about. And right when we came out of the halt, we pushed right into our 160, 170 area right over here, which is pre-market resistance. Then as soon as we started coming down, I sold my whole position at $1.58. And the reason I sold my position is because we had two halts up and I didn't really want to get caught in a halt down. Yeah, we ended up pushing higher, halting into pre-market high, but look, we opened and we ended up stuffing and just continuing downwards ever since. We ended up halting over here at 160. So I think I played this pretty well, keeping in mind that this one can halt very, very easily. So I kind of took that quick scalp out of it. Um, another trade that I took on the day was AMTD. And AMTD was a sympathy to ticker HKD. So you see the move HKD put in today. I didn't want to play this stock because I knew it could, you know, flush out easily and possibly halt down. So I decided to find a sympathy to HKD. And the sympathy that I found was AMTD. And we noticed in the morning that AMTD was kind of consolidating over here between our 180 pre-market support and our VWAP, which was also lining up with our 189, 190 area resistance from pre-market. So I got long right over here in between these two areas, and I got long at $1.87. Um, I was looking for HKD to put the move in, and I told myself, okay, I'm going to be risking off $1.78, $1.77 right over here, but if HKD can give us the move that we think it will, this one has a lot of range. If you look left on the daily, at the time we had range into $2. And then if you look left even further, we had range into 260s, even 290s. So I put some on over there at $1.87. And we start getting this parabolic move over here. We start consolidating. Um, the arrow's not down here for some reason. But you could see that I was peeling some off 228s. And that I did peel a little more off 242. And then I took my final piece off right into this candle at $2.50. And the reason for that was because we were coming up to a daily level. This is $2.40. And then $2.50 right in this area. Didn't have it marked, but I'll go ahead and mark it for you now, right over here. And I knew that, you know, from looking left, this isn't a name that really gives you that, you know, continuation move that everyone looks for. You could see we had a pop over here into 340s, sold off. We had another day where we popped into 230s, we sold off. So just by looking at this, even over here, we popped in a 180s, sold off all the way to 150s. So I knew to be, you know, kind of in and out in a way, um, but I think we nailed the trade. 187 all the way to 250s, you know, great trade over here. It was a 34% win. So very happy with that. The next trade that I took on the day was ATNF. And ATNF sort of had a three minute flag look over a pivot. And I'll get into that right now. So um, let me flip over to the three minute. And our pivot was right over here. So you see, we kind of broke through this area where we had a double top. Or I'm sorry. We kind of come up through this area, which was previous resistance, $5.14, $5.15. You can see the pivot better on the one minute. Um, you could see it right over here, this minor area of resistance, 514. So we come up, we test our high a day, we get rejected. And at this point, I'm thinking to myself, okay, if we flag down into this micro pivot, I'll get long some. Um, ultimately, I was looking for a retest of the five pivot, which is a daily level 507. Here's our $5 pivot. 
um, that did not come and then when I noticed this kind of stair step down in the volume you could see right over here we started to stair step down low VPA consolidation I decided to put some on at five dollars and eleven cents and see if we can get that push through high a day um, we get a push right away into high a day I peel some off at five dollars and thirty cents which lines up right with high a day you guys know that's always one of my rules peel some off right in front of high a day and then I don't know why the arrow is not here but I did take another piece off, I believe it was, let me double check it right here, $5.40. And then I stopped my remaining piece at $5.38 on the break of this level over here. I had a little range here from 538 to 535. I was connecting wick to body. And ultimately when we just started coming down and like flushing on this candle, I actually had a hard stop and it stopped me out. So overall, this was a really nice win. Um, we did end up flushing into trend. I noticed this, but at the time I was a little hesitant. I didn't want to, you know, get caught in the trend line break considering how this was flushing. Um, but it did end up pulling up to squeeze shorts. And there was another really nice flag on this name that I actually missed. And it's right over here over the 580 daily pivot. You could see that we have this nice high volume push, low VPA pullback. Kind of more selling pressure here, but it's probably added buying. You know, it is a doji. And then bam, we get our move all the way from 590s all the way to $7. So that was a really nice flag. At the time, I had stepped away from the computer and I was not on my at my desk to catch this flag. But, you know, congrats to anyone who caught it. I know a lot of people in chat caught it. Um, next trade I took on the day was MEGL. Um, this one, I actually had two trades on it and I got stopped out of my first one. So really quick, you could see we have this kind of range where we're, you know, coming down, people are buying these dips and we're sucking right back up. So I was looking at it and I was thinking to myself, OK, we're going to probably come down into 220s and then suck right back up. Or, you know, we come in a view up and, you know, suck right back up. So I put some on over here at two dollars and thirty five cents. And right here on this flush candle, I had a stop loss at two twenty seven. Um, stop loss was hit, but because the candle was flushing, I got some slippage and I actually got filled at $2 and 23 cents. And immediately after, once I noticed that we kind of reclaimed after, you know, consolidating for a second down here, as soon as we reclaimed over view up and the volume started picking up right here, I said, okay, this thing's going to do a quick trap move. I was expecting it to rise right away, but that didn't happen. We kind of consolidated for a little, but I put some more on right over here at $2 and 33 cents. Kind of consolidate for a little. At this time, I had went downstairs to, you know, do whatever I was doing. Come back to my desk because I get a notification. And MEGL is all the way up here at $2.60. And I sell my full position right over here at $2.48. Um, so I made back the little loss that I had back here. And then I also got to make a little bit on it from this move over here. So really nice trade over there. Um, and something to note, you know, you guys, you, you sometimes will take paper cuts, not every trade you're going to get in and it's going to be the perfect entry. You know, something might happen like a flush candle here and then something like this at reclaiming on some strength on some heavy bidding. And then, you know, you get the move you were anticipating. Um, so, you know, never let a previous trade that was read kind of throw you off from your next trade that is actually showing you what you wanted to see. And in this case it is, we ended up sucking off of our pivot. And we ended up, you know, ripping up higher. I was expecting a break through 260s and see if we can come up and test, you know, 290 area over here. Um, but that didn't happen. And when we actually started flushing from this candle, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just take this win and the small green that I have. And, you know, we'll move on to the next one. Um, another trade that I took on the day was MULN. This one was really, really nice. Didn't get to capitalize on the whole trade because I had to actually leave. I had to go do some things. But MULN was a really nice trade. Um, you could see that we were hesitating at this 38 cent resistance. Finally, we get the break of our resistance. And we start pushing up into our daily level of 40 cents. I'll go ahead and show you that. Here's our 40 cents at the time that was resistance. And we start pulling back into our micro pivot, which is going to be this level right over here, which is 38.84. Um, so as we're pulling back into this pivot, I'm looking for a five minute flag. But ultimately, the five minute flag did not come. But we did get a 10 minute flag. You guys can see high volume push, low VPA consolidation over the pivot, low VPA pullback, whatever you want to call it. And I got long at 39.3. Um, as soon as I get long, we get a nice pop into almost 40 cents. I take some off 39. Well, I got filled at 40 because I was selling into the ask. So I took some off at 40, had another limit for the 40 break, got filled 40 on that. 
Then we have this nice pop over here into 41.5s. I get filled some off 41.5s. Then we have this massive move right here into 44s, but unfortunately I was not in it at the time. Like I said, I had to walk away and do some things. Then I actually put some back on on the break of this little downtrend over here, you guys can see. We kind of had this descending triangle kind of forming. Um, but as soon as we, you know, broke over this line, I put some on. We got a nice move into 42s. Still haven't peeled any off. My stop loss is currently below 40 cents. And I'm kind of just going to let this ride. Um, Mullen, you know, on the daily has been putting in some nice moves. So I want to I want to see if we're going to be able to continue and maybe get a nice move into 50s. Um, we'll let you know in the next recap how this trade went. But I do still have some Mullen on. Um, I believe it's, yeah, 41.3 average. So right over here on this break. Um, really nice trade back here. I was really, really patient on it. You know, it sucked watching this thing continue to rip without me in it, but it finally gave us the entry and we were able to capitalize on it. So patience is the name. Um, VYNT, that's, oh, that's, that's, I don't know why that's on today's list. Um, but yeah, so those are all my trades. I hope you guys learned something. Um, as always, drop your questions, comments below. Um, please like and subscribe if you find this content valuable. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Saleh Trades with an underscore at the end. Thanks. Peace.